Some medical students from Ukraine had complained about the directive by the Medical and Dental Council. There was no proper communication, there was no proper coordination. Uh, when we got there, people didn't even know the levels uh, to take the exam. And then all these things happened within a brief moment of time, only for us to wake up on the 23rd with this communique released by the MDC that uh, they weren't going to uh, accept uh, online uh, certificates from Ukraine. But the Medical and Dental Council maintains online studies for medical and dentistry fall short of the required training process. The Council's registrar, Dr. Divine Banyumbala, said his outfit would not compromise the standards of the profession. It's almost impossible for me to sit online as a doctor and operate you in your house. So whether it is at the basic or paraclinical level, we have bench site learning. There are laboratory tests that you have to learn how to perform. There are dissections of bodies that you have to know what to do. In the clinical setting, you have to be on the ward, in the theaters, in the hospitals, at the clinics to be able to learn. It's an apprenticeship. We should not mix things. This is not with all humility. All professions have different standards of training and practice. Dr. Banyubola warned the students to desist from taking the online courses as their certificates will not be recognized. Acting through the leadership of the state have provided an option for those of them whose learning was disrupted, unfortunately, by the sad events that are happening, in fact, tragic events happening in Ukraine, to be able to be assisted to continue with their training here. So our statement is clear that those who did not take advantage of that one-off opportunity are the ones, as a responsible professional regulator, we are advising to please seek transfers to appropriately accredited medical and dental training institutions in other countries across the world that are where proper medical training can occur. The council in the year 2000 introduced a biannual examination to ensure that doctors trained in other countries had the requisite knowledge and skill to offer medical and dental care to patients in the country.